Do you have an LG ductless system? I'm here today to show you how to use the remote controller for the LG mini splits. So when you first put batteries in the remote or when you press this little reset button down here, the first thing you need to do is set the time. So you would press this up and down button to change the time. And when you're at the right time, you hit set. That will stop flashing and that's gonna be your time. So one of the first things you're gonna do is take the remote and point it at the indoor unit. You're gonna press this power button to turn it on. As you can see, it comes set up in Celsius. If you wanna change that to Fahrenheit, you press this button and hold it down for five seconds. Now we'll go over the modes. So the modes are gonna be listed horizontally at the top of the remote. The first one is cooling mode. It looks like a snowflake. That is your regular, just air conditioning. Press it again, we're gonna go into the auto mode. This is the auto mode. It has the A with the arrow around it. What this is gonna do is change the system between heating and cooling depending on the room temperature. Press it again, it's gonna to go to dehumidification mode. As you can see, the temperature setting went away. So in this mode, it's gonna be switching between cooling and fan only, and it's just gonna be pulling moisture out of the room and blowing cool, dry air in the room. Press it again. We're gonna go into heating, that's the sunshine. And again, this is just fan only. And then it goes back to cooling. So to, to adjust the temperature up and down, you press this. And this is gonna be the temperature that you're trying to achieve. So if that's too cold, you turn it up. Too hot, you turn it down. Your fan speed is displayed over here. Right now, it's in low. As you press it, it's gonna go higher. As you can see, you'll get more bars. Once it goes all the way to the top, you press it again and it's gonna go into an auto mode. As you can see, the bars are flashing. What that means is the fan's gonna ramp up and down by itself depending on the temperature of the room. So if, you, if the temperature of the room is 70 and you want it at 65, right when you turn it on, the fan will be high, and as it gets closer to 65, it's gonna slow itself down. So jet mode. Say you come home and it's really hot or really cold. You put this on in cooling or heating and you press jet mode, it's gonna ramp this unit up to the max capacity for 30 minutes. After that 30 minutes, it's gonna go back down to its normal set point. To adjust the airflow direction up or down, you're gonna press this swing button. It's displayed up here. It starts in the, all the way in the down position. And as you press it, that line's gonna move up a little bit every time you press it until it goes all the way up and then it's gonna go into an oscillating mode. And this is just gonna fan the air up and down. And then you press it one more time and the display is gonna go away. And what that means is it's in automatic mode. So if it's in cooling, it's gonna point the air straight forward because cold air drops. And if it's in heating, it's gonna point it all the way down because hot air rises. So this swing button is to adjust the airflow from left to right. There's gonna be one line that points as to where the air is going. Every time you press it, that line's gonna move a little bit. Once you go all the way from left to right, you're gonna get three lines pointing to the left. This is gonna be, the fan is oscillating, but directing the air to the left side of the room. And then it's gonna be three bars into the right, and that's gonna be oscillating, but directing the air to the right side of the room. You press it one more time, and it's gonna oscillate completely from left to right. To use the daily timer, the first thing you do is press timer. It's gonna come and it's gonna say on here with a different time. You're gonna change it to what time you want it to turn on. And once you're at that time, you're gonna press set. Press timer again. We're gonna press it until we see the off flashing. And now we're gonna change it to what time we want the unit to shut off. Once you're at your time, you press set. And you will see that they are both still displayed and that means the timer is active. If you ever wanted to cancel the timer, you press the timer again. This one's flashing, you hit cancel. 
and now the timer's canceled.